So this one is um, one of the top brand of Baijiu here. I think you know it's Wu Liang. What's the name of it? Yeah. yeah. Wu Liang Ye. They are in Paris, in fact, they opened a shop in Paris. And uh, we are at the hotel. I think it's the, and the police, police asking first. <laughs> and you have the hostess and the people here. In fact, uh, here is, uh, they just, uh, they are the... Um, Represent the of the... Of this the, province. Oh. No, of oh. the China. Because they bought off uh, all the mark. The so brand, it's huh? OOM made by Wu Liangye. Thank you. And this, this, this place is interesting because um, uh, downstairs you have um, you have uh, the big event that happens once a year, once a year. And, and then um, upstairs you have uh, people who run the room in the hotel, and they will have uh, their own brand. So here is another one. Uh, this is, I think, is uh, Motai. You know, it's Motai. <laughs> This one is Motai. This is Motai. I will, I will, I will just... Oh, this is Motai. So. Motai is the big competitor of uh, Yu Hong Xie. <laughs> That's Motai. If you have the chance, drink it. I think uh, you need to try it once. But uh, to me, it all tastes the same. <laughs> I tried it uh, a few times, more than once, even the motai. <laughs> and uh, it's interesting because you have all the brand. Yes, there was one that was interesting for us because uh, as they do the um, kind of brandy, uh, kind of whiskey uh, style. Yeah. <laughs> so it's interesting, this one, as they have here, they have the whiskey. XO, yes. <laughs> And this one is, 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 is interesting. But the problem with it is uh, they have all kind of price. So they have some price at 18 yuan for one brandy. Then they have the price at 200, 300, 500. And I believe if you sell this, the Chinese customers, they are not going to pay 300 for uh, Chinese whiskey. If they pay 300, they want a foreign whiskey. They want the real one. Uh, or they want a French uh, cognac, they want the real one. And at uh, 300, even with the tax, I think it's possible to import by yourself and uh, offer this kind of price, 300, 400. This one, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> it's also some baijiu, we'll, we'll come back after. Well, uh, and here, here there is also more. Uh, for me, it's very difficult because you see all the the baijiu, this, <laughs> all the baijiu, no. all the baijiu. And for me, I have no idea about baijiu. So the only thing I can look at is the the ball, the shape of the ball, and uh, the price. And uh, uh, discussing with. Uh, some uh, some friends who have uh, shops and uh, the only thing that they told me is for the market in Changsha uh, you need to have the very very low price it doesn't matter except you have the network it's very difficult to yes also one yeah yeah yes there seems to be many people <laughs> and here there's more so for me I um uh, it's okay for me. <laughs> so you, you don't know, it's, it's very difficult to me what I was thinking is the best, in fact, is to have very little price because most people, and I believe even most Chinese people, they have no idea what they drink, even for the Chinese alcohol. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe some very top Chinese alcohols, they can distinguish it, and then of course they want to know about the brand, but otherwise, 80% or 90% of the market, and that's the, the people who are going to come when you are a shop, when you have a shop, they just want to pay a low price and have a nice packaging. The packaging matters a lot, and then they just want a nice packaging and a low price, and that's it. You know? And it's the same for the wine. They want the wine to be drinkable, so sweet wine, wine that is easy to drink. Even you have no idea about uh, about uh, wine and low price, little price. And that's very difficult because when you do French wine, you cannot have low price. With French wine, you cannot. So you need to find other wine. 
and uh, with other wine, um, with the Chinese alcohol, this also. And I met a woman recently, and so she told me she opened about nine shops here in, in a city in north of China, in Tianjin, and she told me how she did it. She's uh, doing her own alcohol, her own beer, so she studied this, and it's very drinkable, with nice packaging and very little price. And she's a, she's a billionaire. I met her like this by chance. And I've been telling my wife to do this all the time. So, but it's, there's one thing is, it's easy to have the idea, but it's more difficult to do. And this is what I learned mm, this last, uh, since I got out of school uh, in 2005. It's easy to have the idea. It's easy to think, oh, I can do this, I can do that. But it's very hard to do it <laughs> for real. <laughs> Bon bah, ok. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait, bébé Rien. Il nous a fait goûter le vin. De Montaigne. Il a dit c'est un sous-entreprise de Montaigne. Ah. Euh, bah donc ils ont des prix euh, moins élevés en fait. C'est parce ouais, que parce que Montaigne est like Bordeaux. Ah. Ah, ça va, c'est pas mal. Hein. Montaigne est like Bordeaux. Um, it's the name of a district. It's not the name. Ah, oh, 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 <laughs> Mota is like a district, it's like you say Bordeaux or, whatever, or Champagne, Champagne. So you have all kinds of brands that can be Mota. And only the real Mota, this is the, the old one brand that's very famous and all the rest is just, uh, mm. just a city. So it's like you say Changsha, Changsha, Beijing, Beijing wine, or Shanghai. Okay. Bon, à bientôt, <laughs> Uh, today we are going to uh, another hotel, so that's the Kepinski Hotel, and here there is another um, uh, event for the wine, um, the wine products and wine in general. And uh, what's interesting, and this is something that I want to share with you. Let me show you. Let me take a what's interesting is that um, what you should know when you attend the fair in China. Uh, I'm not sure how it is for the other fairs. Oh, mais bébé, arrête de prendre tout ça, on n'a pas besoin. Si, ça sert à rien, ça. C'est vraiment pas. C'est pas la peine, hein. c'est pas la peine. Non, mais on n'en veut pas, Owen. On sait pas ce que c'est, on va pas la goûter, donc euh, voilà. So, uh, yeah, I was telling my wife, don't take all this. I mean, what's the, what's the meaning, you know? Because you know why they give you all these leaflets? Maybe for Chinese customers it works. Like, I will get the leaflet and I just from the leaflet. <laughs> Just from the leaflet, I decide I'm going to buy. It's, I don't care, you know. It's, uh, I need to taste it in, before I can buy it. I'm not simply going to uh, take a leaflet and then. Uh, oh, ça c'est l'entrée, ça. There are two things. One is a show, a fair, and one is the Kipinski. So now we go in the Kipinski. Let's just. <laughs> So we are inside a hotel, and uh, yes, so what's happened is um, nothing happened on the day of the fair, everything happens before. So you need to go before. And uh, the good, uh, reliable suppliers, viens Paul. They are not there on the day of the fair, they are there before. Because um, on the day of the fair, uh, the one who will pay for the stand, they are just there to show the face, they are just there. Il ouais, y, y a beaucoup de choix, mais bon. Regarde, il y, y a les prix derrière, on est 35 euros. Donc, on so we'll have a look, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, so I will talk to you after. And uh, I will talk to you after. Bon, à bientôt les amis. Hein. Something you need to know come before, will come on the day of the fair. That's what I want to tell you. Yesterday it was the same for the Bajos.